So if you enter the garden through the Friends Gate and walk down Ficus Avenue, down an incredible laneway of Moreton Bay fig trees, you'll come to find the work of Mike Bianco, Anthracombe. Mike Bianco is a performance artist, a ceramicist, a cook, and also a beekeeper. An avid apiarist, he describes his alter ego as Homo Apis, the bee man. When I've been thinking about monsters, um, a lot of it has been um, about climate change. Um, it's been about environmental change. What he's created is a work in which you're invited into a space to rest with bees. So for Anthroco, Mike Bianco was inspired by a practice of Ukrainian beekeepers in which they would sleep overnight with their hives. They found that the qualities of propolis, the scent of the honey, as well as the hum of the hive was an incredibly sort of healing and nurturing experience. Mike Bianco has worked with the bee sanctuary and the urban bee and an apiarist called Josh D'Ambrosio and he has brought in his bees. Together, uh, 50,000 bees were brought in under the cover of darkness at midnight, a few weeks before we opened, and to acclimatize and reorient the bees in their new home. From that time, the bees were placed into the daybed and they moved between a secured acrylic, clear acrylic pipe from the inside of the cabin to the outside where they move in and out um, to collect pollen and return to the hive. There are many different uh, ways to experience the work. In some cases it is activated by a performance by Mike himself in which you are invited to, to drink pollen tea, to smell the scent of the wax and the pollen and then to lie with the bees covered with a blindfold and to spend time getting to listen to the bees and breathe in the scent of the hive.